Welcome back everyone. In this video, I will discuss how to filter list view in Qubit. Let me show you the output first. You can see that this list contains a list of players and here we have a text field to search for the player name. Here I am searching RO, then you can see that the player with the player whose name contains RO, that player name has been displayed. Similarly, if I type here PA, then the player name which contains PA has been displayed. And if I remove everything from here, then all the player name has been displayed. Now, how to achieve this? Let me discuss. Here I have created this project and after that in the pubspec.yml, I have taken the latest dependency of Flutter block that is 8.1.3. Now, before starting to code here, let me move to extension and in the extension here I have installed the extension named as block. Once you install this block extension then it will be very easy for us to create the block as well as the qubit. Now let me move to the leaf folder, right click here. Once you right click then you can see we, here we are getting two options block new block block new qubit. These two options are coming because here I have installed that block extension. Let me click on block new qubit. After that, we need to specify the qubit name. I am giving the qubit name as player. Now inside the leaf folder, you can see that qubit folder has been created and it contains two files, player qubit and player state. Let me move to player state and let me remove this immutable. And here you can see the first class which has been created is the player state. And a class has been created named as player initial. Let me change its name to player initial state. And inside this player state here, I will create a variable which will contain the list of players. So let me copy this and let me paste it here. Now inside this player initial state class, I will create a variable final and the variable type will be this. And let me give the variable name as players. After that, I will create the constructor of this class. And to this constructor, I will pass this dot players. Similarly, I will create one more class that is player filtered state. And let me give the variable name here as filtered players. Let me change the constructor and instead of this dot players, it will be this dot filtered players. So our state has been created. Now let me move to qubit. In the qubit, you can see that it is extending qubit and here the state name is player state and initially we are emitting the player initial state. and here if you can see that this player initial state constructor is taking the list of players. So here also we need to pass the list of players. So I will pass all players. Now here I will create a function filter player to filter the players. And I will filter the player based on name. So it will take a parameter of type string and let me give the parameter name as name. Now here first of all I will check if name is empty. If the name variable does not contain anything then I need to display the list of all players in the list view. So I need to emit which state I need to emit the player initial state. So emit player initial state and to this initial state obviously I will pass all players because this all player contains the list of all the players. But if the name is not empty, then in the else portion, I need to filter the player based on the name. So here I will declare a variable final filtered list equals to all players dot where. Let me change it to player. And now in player, I need to check for name because I want to search or I want to filter based on name. Then the to string 
now i will check or i will call the method contains if this player name contains that name which we are passing name dot to lower case and let me call this that to lower case function from here also and after that we need to call the to list and after that we need to emit the player filtered state and to this player filtered state here i will pass this filtered list fine now let me move to main dot dart in main dot dart i need to wrap this my home page with block provider so let me click here and wrap with block provider now in this block provider i need to specify the name of the qubit which we have created that is player qubit and here also i need to use this now this const is not required let me move the const here now in this ui you can see there is a text field and we need to type the player name in this uh, text field and here also i need to create a list view to display the list of the players so here i will use expanded widget and in expanded widget as a child i will use block builder and to this block builder i need to specify the name of the qubit that is player qubit and we need to specify the state name as well that is player state fine now here we need to use builder now this builder will take context and state now here i will check if state is player initial state then what will happen in this case i will return a widget that is build player list this we need to create this function we need to create and to this i will pass state dot players similarly let me copy it paste it here in else if here i will check if it is player filtered state then here i need to pass state dot filtered players else i will return a container now i need to create this so here widget let me copy this function name and this function will take a parameter of type this one so let me copy this paste it here and let me give the name as players now it will return a list view dot builder and first of all i will specify here the item count so in the item count i need to write players dot length and in the item builder which will take the context and the index and here i will return a list style and to this list style i need to pass title and before that i can do one more thing here i can declare a variable final player equals to 
players of index so individual player information will be stored inside this final player variable now in the title here i will use a text widget and in this text widget now here i can write player of what i want to display player of name similarly i can use subtitle and in the subtitle i can display text of player of the property name was name and country so here i can paste country semicolon semicolon okay fine now let me save this once i save this then you can see this is the output now if i start typing here suppose i am typing virat kohli okay it's not working because here in this text field in the on changed i need to call that filter player method so the text field which we have created inside this on changed i need to call context dot read i need to specify the type here that is player qubit and based on that i can call filter player and to this filter player i can pass the value because this value will contain whatever we are typing in the text field now let me save this once again now if i start searching here like maxwell then you can see that uh, the name of maxwell has been displayed the name as well as the country similarly if i am searching for suppose it's uh, birat then you can see birat kohli has been displayed along with the country name this is how we can filter a list view in qubit that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching